Hello. Welcome back to the Gelmir's Heroes Grave that I've been needing to explore for a while. Last time I played, I left off right here. This one didn't do this. That's kind of interesting. Like, when I... There. It was over here. So I guess when you save quit, the uh, chariot resets to up there, I guess? I think that's kind of worth testing. Except for the fact that then it would get in my way. When I try to run upwards, I guess, because I dropped from up there. I don't actually know what I need to do. I think there must be something that lowers the lava. Or I can... Oh, I can probably jump onto the horse, can't I? Yeah. If I was still up there, I think I can drop onto the back and ride it. Okay. So that's what I need to do. Oop. Which means that I need to go back up a ways and then make my way from there. Ah. Secret. Interesting. Uh, that's a Bloodhound Knight. Oh, yeah. I was lo I've been looking at the, um... Shadow of the... Ooh, okay. That's pretty easy. I've been looking at the Shadow of the Erd Tree scene page to double-check the planned date. Ah, two full sets of armor. Interesting. And one of the enemies... One of the few pictures on the Steam page is, looks like a Bloodhound Knight with spikes shooting out of its back, which is pretty interesting. It raises questions. Oh, perfect. So if I miss, I can reset. That's easy. Okay. Yeah, now that means that I can reset to here. I think I want to not drop. I think I want to be either in the center or along the edge, I'm not sure. But I, I assume the center is probably the better location to work with. Yeah. I like these heroes' graves. Like, they're kind of annoying, but there's, they're a different, there's a different feel to them compared to a lot of the rest of the game. Like, they're big dungeons that are more... I don't know. Puzzle dungeons than combat dungeons. I don't know what I'm supposed to do once I go down, but... Ah, I need to jump that way. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Oop. I guess I shifted too far. But probably I'm fine. The lava doesn't do nearly as much damage as it feels like it should. I didn't expect to be shaken and then dropped quite so easily, but that's fine. Is this going to be... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good. That was fun. Like, I like these sort of exploration-y... Ah, see, I missed the necessary step. Never mind. I thought this would be one that needed a lever. Interesting. It's so weird. This is like the only one of those types of doors that doesn't need a lever pulled. Lever or lever, I don't really know which is preferable or preferable. I'm only going to use this weapon because I just don't use it ever. Oh, yeah, rough. Kind of regret my choice of weapon. Okay, no I don't. That AoE is huge. I seem to get close enough to get the first hit in. I guess I just need the second hit because this guy is really weak. It's like I probably shouldn't have left this so late. Because I can just face tank this with no... Okay, I didn't actually know he could double that, uh, attack. Yeah, I left this too late, probably.
So this, I'm gonna have to go through there again because I definitely missed a lot of stuff to explore. But these, okay, so that's eight of nine, I believe. So I'm missing one. I still have to hand them in, but having them all in my inventory means that I don't have to remember how many I have. Because if I'd handed in two or three, it could be an issue. Oh, I guess I just teleport down, it'll be faster. I don't remember how it started. Yes. I wanna go down here. Oh, getting out of here is gonna be... Okay, you can actually teleport in hero graves. Well, that's wonderful. It's a great change compared to other dungeons. It's so good. What? Oh yeah. I probably shouldn't run here. Never mind. Running was the correct choice. Running out of stamina was not. And it's gonna die to the lava. I can't remember. I think this one I wait for it to go down because it stops like right here. Yes. And then I need to get out of the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, funny. And this, this one stops in the same location. But last time I dropped down here so now I need to keep going down since he was there. To explore the rest of this area. Bone. Oh, can I drop onto this one? Or is this just the end of the path? Not the end of the path. There's a lot more to explore. Rude. What's the other weapon? Sure. Oh, that looks way shorter though. And uh, I think it's just weaker. It's not. It's more physical. It has way worse base magical though. So I think it is. I think because it's dex, it's a little bit more dex focused. So I think if I had more dexterity, the troll knight sword might be comparable without the dex levels this is just better in every way but it's probably not better if an enemy was immune to magic but this has a base of 308 magic it has a higher base magic than the dark moon the dark moon has better scaling but it's kind of crazy to me well i guess even this has a better base magic than the dark moon it's just this has good scaling Interesting. Um, I like the weapons in these. I, I'm really like... I really prefer this game to Dark Souls 1 and 2. Because both of those, in my opinion, have an issue of... You can't upgrade 15 different weapons to try them. I think Dark Souls 1, it was a bigger issue. Dark Souls 2, it just took a while before you could upgrade multiple weapons. Whereas 1, I think by the end it was basically very little to spare. You can grind and stuff, but... I kind of wonder if I can run through the fire without hitting it. I can. Nice. Uh, nothing up. I kind of wish there was something up there, but it doesn't look like there is. So, I came from this direction, so I'm going to go to the right. I kind of... I wonder if... Oof. If From Software makes another of these style of games, which they probably will, because I can't imagine they wouldn't make money. I wonder if they're going to always... If every single game forever until they collapse as a studio if every game will 
always have like the hollow equivalent enemies or if they will eventually have some that don't have the hollows. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. For obvious reasons because I just got here but I guess I'll try going up. See if I actually I'll get trapped up here probably. Stone sword key. I think I need to run. Hope that I can hit, hit hide in a corner. I can't get back. Oh. I mean, that's just gaming. I walked into the back of a spike wheel that at the time wasn't moving. It staggered me forward. It started moving and it hit me again. Oh, what, what, uh, what a game. There's actually nothing wrong with that. Oh, wait, let's do this. Um, I don't really need good equipment. Briefly stop rune loss on death in mixed physics. So I think, unless it's only you lose half instead of everything, because that, that would be useless, but my assumption is that I can use that and then die, and then I'm just back at the grace and I don't have to run to retrieve my runes anymore. Oops. Whoop. Ah, it's fun. I'm having a good time. Oh, well, I think I also checked... I think this... There's no... There doesn't seem to be... A hero's grave in Lyernia. And there doesn't appear to be... Can I run here? Yes, I can. And there, I, I think that I've marked all of the hero's graves. I think it's when they go down that I want to go. Uh, I think up would have been better. Doesn't matter, but it would have been better. Didn't even see him once. Oh, excuse me. Oops. Do this vertical? No, it's still horizontal. I'm trying to get back to two-handing, but I'm pressing it too quickly. And it doesn't... You can't buffer the input of two-handing a weapon. Which is kind of a shame. Like, I wish you could. You could swing, buffer the switch to two-handed, and then continue going. But you can't. The only thing that gets buffered is the swing itself, not the input. Not the, like, Y button input. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time, but I'm gonna be safer. I don't think it's possible to get back here. I'm doing that in case I die. I didn't expect to die from one hit, but... In case I did like that, I think it was worth drinking the physic. So do I keep all my runes perfectly? Because it looks like it, because they were still in the bottom, and I think normally it goes to zero. Wonderful. Oh, that's so good. Okay. That's the new use for the mixed physic. Just use that. Only use that for exploration, so you don't have to run back to retrieve your runes. Never use it for bosses, but since I only ever use it the mixed physic for bosses, there's no real loss to using it for this. Okay. I don't know if I can go further. I might be able to go another step. I don't think I left in time. Not to get to the second one, but I can get to this one. I need to be further back. I think this was the wrong choice. I should have waited. 
it worked out, but I probably should have waited. Oh, uh, safe. Okay. I think it's a fun area. Um, it's fun to come back through these areas. I think it would be it would have been better if I did it on the first time through. Because if I did it on the first time through, I think I have to go on the way down. I think if I did it on the first time through, it would have been better, but I didn't do it on the off chance that I just forgot. Because I, I don't know these, I don't know the game well enough to be like, oh yes, this is the... I'm gonna die. I didn't die because it turned for some reason. I mean, thank you for turning, but why? Oh, and I'm back here. Okay, perfect. I think. Can I bait it to go upwards? Do I have any reason for it to go upwards? I don't think so. So I think that is all I need. The Hollow Knight Shade. Okay, I'm done in this hero's grave. That's good. Uh, I already finished the hero's grave. So one hero's grave here, the hero's grave here. There is the hero's grave here, and the hero's grave right here. I think I already did that one. I don't think I need to re- I'll leave it marked, just in case. Still haven't fought this guy. Uh, I still haven't gone here. I don't think this is the hero's grave in Kaled, or down in the southern area. Is it just Morn? I don't know what this area is actually called. But... I'm gonna go to the next hero's grave, but before that I'll do the side tomb here that I marked and then left. Kinda... a flaw in how I play this game. I just... I think if I got sidetracked more, it would be better. Hello. Like, getting sidetracked would be beneficial because it would let me... Uh, if I got sidetracked, then I would actually do stuff as it came up instead of leaving it for later and then forgetting about it. kind of want to use this for a bit, but upgrading it is not trivial. Ooh. Eerie. That looks like a death pit if I jumped rude oh do you look different you have a yellow lid do you explode you do I'm glad I'm using this weapon then because it has reach and knockback that I can actually kill them without exploding myself I definitely think there's a lot of annoying enemies in this game Okay, I'm gonna get attacked from the sides or above. Right? So I'm definitely gonna have to drop through that window that I was at. Oh, is it a gas trap? Please? Thank you. Send me somewhere. I mean, it's not surprising if there's no enemies there that it's a trap chest. Yes, I mean, that's presumably... Did this take me back to where I was? I mean, it's not really surprising that it was a trap. Yeah, it should be the same location. I like that. Kind of wish they they did more with this. I hope they do. I hope they do more with these like two-way transporter traps. Like put a bunch of them in an area in the DLC. Yeah, the window that I saw I think was over that way. Just based on that one statue in front of me. There should be an enemy under here. There is... Oh, I was going to say there isn't, but there's an imp. There are a lot of pots and jars and stuff. There's a weird term that I've read in, like, books. Potsherd. I think it's basically just a pot shard. Like a shard of a 
pot, but I'm uncertain. Because why would you call something a pot shard if it's just a shard? Rude. And, I mean, these ancient looking pots, unsurprisingly, make me think of the word. I'm trying to search them real quick. Whoop. I'll try to keep moving though. But all these pots are elaborate. Potsherd. A fragment of broken pottery, especially one found in an archaeological excavation. Like, I'm I want to see why it exists, because you could just call it a pot shard and it would mean basically the same thing. So it could be just meant as a way to distinguish archaeological pot shards or shards of pot from non-archaeological ones. Oh. Rude. Guy to my left. Well, actually, by the point I said it, he was behind me. Anything? And this is a loser wall? Yep. What's the one behind? Oh. Which one's more appraisals? Aha. The one that people read first has more appraisals. So I'm thinking that this is going to be another transporter? Yep. Is it going to take me up above right behind me? No, it's over here. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I thought the guy on the left was about to spin at me. Oh. I wasn't in range. And the explosion took too long. These living jars are kind of cool. Like, I think they are one of the standout elements, I think, in my opinion. Like, I think they are the most interesting creature added. Ah, iron jar. Which I might make a few of to mess around with. Basically just to feel the power of standing still and swinging a weapon. Which if I do use it, I should dual wield the swords. Because I'm not going to be rolling. Because it's iron. Oh, what's the... Is this spell iron flesh? It's that but you just drink it. You, you get bad rolls, but you take reduced damage and you have crazy high poise, which against some bosses you can trivialize because they attack fast, but they don't hit super hard, I guess. It's interesting. This one's going to teleport me back to where I just was, up above, right? I'm glad there is a dungeon that does this, but I wish there was a little bit more. Like, maybe in the overworld having dungeons, uh, having transporter traps that are two-way here and there. Instead of just one dungeon. Like a, um, like Rhea Lucaria type thing, which I guess people call those, those are called legacy dungeons? I don't know, so I guess it might technically be a dungeon still. I mean, I know this is not the one that I saw earlier, because the one I saw earlier had the statue here, which means that down there is a new place, I think. So I'll go over here. Excuse me. Sorry. Well, this is not a transporter trap. I actually really like that. The Ash of War Wolf's Assault. It's reasonably cheap. 
and it does a good AoE, does a good damage. Pretty good. It's pretty slow, but I'm happy with it. It's a variety. It's a different type of attack. It's not just a buff. Oh, for some reason I thought that was... I wasn't paying enough attention. I just saw the flashes and I was like, oh, it's a gargoyle. I'm just not able to see it because my sword and shield are blocking it. So I'm like, oh, I see the splashes of the gargoyle moving. But the pot shirt is a term. I guess it's like shirt is Middle English or something is what I just read on... Oy, oy, oy. I missed three swings. Sorry. The Cambridge... No, Merriam-Webster, Middle English pot shirt from pot plus shirt, shard. I'm wondering if it's a case of shirt became shard, but in the context of pot shards, it didn't adjust because it doesn't need to. If you search shard, you get the shard, a skyscraper in London, England. Uh... I kind of want the etymology of shard. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Merriam-Webster suggests that shard is older, maybe, maybe by two centuries, but it's also Middle English. And it's something that came from Old English. Interesting. I don't want to open that yet, because it probably... Ah, it's probably a two-way teleporter. This should be fine to open. It's not going to be one way and I won't be able to get back. Hopefully. That would be the real trap, though. Yeah, the real trap would be if... Oh, wait, that guy explodes. Yeah, I realized as I was doing the jumping attack. There's a lot of cracked pots here. It's pretty good. Not that I use them as much as I probably should, but... I think this game's... I don't use the consumables enough, but I actually really do. I am a fan of how it's handled. I don't use them in any of the games as much as I should. But like, oh, you can craft whichever pots you want to throw at people. And I think that's very... it's a lot more interesting that way. Okay, so this is the end, so I'll go back. back down, back through the uh, transporter trap. Yeah, I think having a, a legacy dungeon, that's, legacy dungeons are less dungeony than this. Having like a big dungeon that isn't made of sewers that relied on those in a way that implies that there was a whole group of people that made use of these traps as quick travel methods. It would be interesting. I think it would be fun. Like if instead of elevators there were a ton of elaborate traps like this that you could go through. Oh, this is the guy that was throwing it at me down there. Okay. I think I'm probably done here. After I go up this ladder. I assume that the area that I would drop down from, from the chest, is a place that I've already been to. And this is the last transporter? Or is there a real item here? There isn't, but I didn't expect it. I'm, ho I'm hoping there'd be one soon. Just the ultimate joke would be one of these. This could be the very first one? No, there's no way. They're just making it look like the very first one, right? Or not? Yeah, it is a different one. Good. Ritual pot. This one was fun to explore. I enjoyed this. The fact that I totally missed this one in any other playthrough is wild. 
I bet I do I die if I fall? It'd be such a waste of time if I died. But if I drank the this and then I died, it would be fine. I didn't die, so I'm fine. I just need to find my way back. Or die soon, but there's no enemies left because I think I've killed them all, so. I. And I can't self damage myself, right? I don't have the. Like, ritual sacrifice y one. Oh! Could you use the. explosion ones that blow yourself up? to die after well combined with the runes kind of like a grim spy tooth capsule but it would be weird there's so many baddest things on my bar. It's pretty funny. Okay, so here, up there was the drop from the start, and I need to go up the ladder, the staircase, and then get out of here. I, I like this dungeon. This was fun. I had a good time. I got a little sidetracked from doing uh, the hero's graves because of it, but... That was fun. Because... The, despite the constant teleportation, it's still very clearly, it was very straightforward, which is positive, I think, like, it's, it's different than, uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, I think, maybe Yellow as well, I'm not sure, with the Team Rocket like teleports where it's random teleports and you just kind of have to get where you need to get okay come on lock on to the person that's right in the front what is wrong with this lock on can i just chain stun i can that's <laughs> pretty funny he's not really much of a duelist huh he came here with a bunch of jars to fight, and he, he's called. He, they call themselves a duelist. I half expected those to be exploders, which is why I didn't run straight in with this. Because if I did that, killed them all, and then all four of them exploded, I would have died. I could have looked at the top of their jar, seen if they were red, and then been, okay, I'm fine, but it felt like odds were that they were at least some of them were exploders which would have killed me but how did i miss that one like i never found that one somehow let's see what happens if i iron jar and just face tank a bear see if i can fight it uh, pretty good Yeah, that's pretty effective. Can I still do the flippy? It missed, but I still can. I mean, this is pretty fun. I think that's how you kill bears, just iron jar. <laughs> Only use them for bears, though. Yeah. Even with appropriate weight, I think it, I don't know if it increases your weight, or if it just makes it so that you roll like that. Oh, this would be so good. Is there another big bear, or just a normal bear? Just a normal bear. The Antsper Rapier, with its uh, blood tax equipped, I could just face tank a bear, heal for more damage than it deals, and apply Scarlet Rot and Bleed. Ooh, it would be so fun. In a, like, meaningless build sort of way because there's no reason to do that i love this i'm very happy with the variety i don't even think it's very good the damage is really mediocre 
considering it's mostly a dex weapon and an arcane weapon and I don't have any arcane and I have 17 dex. But it still hits pretty well. I should teleport. Traveling down would be... S Why can't... I could teleport inside the other hero's graves once I was actually in them. But does this hero's grave block you or is it just the top that blocks you? This one blocks you. Interesting. The other hero's graves didn't seem to. Just th this weapon really makes me happy. I don't know why. Something about it. It's probably just blood tax. Blood tax just seems pretty fun. I should probably f actually find a weapon like an int, a frost based weapon with, with which to use blood tax. Like, if I have a weapon that has natural frost build up and then have blood tax, or maybe I can just switch it to gold. I don't switch it to that, I'm not sure, but. Uh, golden epitaph, last rites, faith weapon, obviously. Raise the epitaph to grant the effect of sacred order to yourself and allies, particularly effective at laying to rest those who live in death. Last sacred order is a ash of war. Which would be down here. Maybe not. Do I have it equipped on uh, the hammer? Yes. Okay, so it's basically just an AoE buff of Sacred Order. Which is cool. It's useless for a single player, but... It's interesting. But I wanted to mess around with another weapon. What did I want to mess with? What weapon was it? Oh yeah, it was looking for a... I don't think there's any natural frost weapons that would work. And what can it be applied to? What can blood tax be applied to? It's anything that's capable of thrusting? Uh... What is the purpose of... Oh, okay. Um... Oh, wait, no, I can only see where what it can be applied to in the inventory screen. I'm getting too sidetracked, I need to stop. And I can't see it in the inventory screen. Because I have it equipped on a weapon. I think that's kind of weird. Maybe there's something else. Sure, let's put this here temporarily. Temporarily make it a heavy weapon. Let's make it a blood weapon. And then I can check what I can apply it to. I'm getting sidetracked. I shouldn't be. This can apply to armaments capable of thrusting, which I think would include spears. If there's any, like, I'm when it wants to be here, if there's any spears that are, I guess it would list thrust as the attack type, right? No. Would it have to list pierce as the attack type? Like, can I apply it to a twin blade? This is experimentation. I guess I'll do the grave next time, so I'll just stop. So if I go down to a twin blade, can I equip it? I can. Interesting. So I guess it must be Pierce that is the what I'm looking for. I don't know if there's any frost, inherently frost-based Pierce weapons. That's Dex. Anything that's not Dex, I'm probably not going to find anything that's good that's not Dex. And it's not naturally cold. That was applied cold. I guess I could just use the Iron Spear. It probably would be better than the ant spur. Is there a way to sort by what I'm looking for? No. 
I guess I don't think there's any that I will find quickly. That could be good. It actually has int. The inherent magic is not the most useful. That one's only really good as a rallying standard because that's a buff, which I probably should consider using, but I probably won't. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that meets my desire that I currently have. I'm going by appearance. Like, does it look like it would apply cold before spending a bunch of time checking if it does pierce? Like, if this did pierce, it would be probably appropriate, assuming it's not Horfrost Stomp that applies the cold. We need something. I guess the Gargoyle Twin Blade, which is probably a somber weapon, would be good if it wasn't a somber weapon. Godskin Stitcher could work, but I think it it's too big. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these other ones would really work. I could go with something else. Like I could look for one of these that has another inherent effect. I mean, like the misericord is for critical. I could work with that for something, but um. So yeah, I can't apply it to this, can I? Oh, I can. It's relatively strength compared to other ones. I don't know how it scales long term. I just want something else that has a... Ooh. I mean, I could apply it to that for even more bleed, but that would be arcane. I'm mostly just looking for... other... like... damage types that would benefit from... rapid attacks. And there aren't really any that I have. There's only bleed. And the weapon that I'm currently, I had, which was this, that has rot. That's the only real option, huh? That's fine. I can't apply frost. I guess I'll leave blood. Because, yeah, making this heavy would probably be better. Damage, more efficient overall, but less funny. So I'll stick with this. Yeah, that was a bit sidetracked. I might do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit just to see what this one is, but... This is not promising. Oh, is this the one where there's multiple that come at you and you have to play Frogger? Do they go up and then go off the cliff on the left? Nope. Oops. You have to hit those to disable them? I think. And then the guy behind me. I'm not actually sure. I don't think you shoot it. Oh, wait, no. If I remember correctly, there's something about these beams of light that also apply to some enemies. You have to pull enemies into... Okay, gaming. It's not the direction in which it swung at me, but oh well. Uh, nope. I mean, they bled real quick, wow. I don't even have high bleed buildup and they bled in two hits. I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Good. But yeah, I'll wrap up here once I get kind of out of this pit. I guess I should strong attack these guys so that I can actually one-shot them. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Good. I mean, this is probably the classic. Yeah. Oh, hidden path ahead, therefore trolling. 
would be funnier. I mean, you always have to check, but there's no reason for there to be a hidden wall there. It would make just as much sense for that to be a hidden wall on the left. Usually hidden walls make sense. Not always, but usually. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. Once they get out into this area. Oh, this is the frogger section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. As in, I wasn't wrong that it did exist. So yeah, next time I'll be back with frogger. Very brief frogger, though. Short game. I might die. Hopefully I don't. Yeah, I'll continue there next time. And I won't get sidetracked, and I'll hopefully finish this hero's grave. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.